watching Pop Scout Hoops. have an objective when we run it if you run in Texas what's the objective so we're trying to get to the basket that means when you get this ball here Joel you got to go now now you're reading everything that's in your vid in your vision if not just pull up and take the shot we got to live with that if that's the play we call let's go wrong good the first thing you did was got the ball and put it on the floor Run it again. So when I cut him, mm -mm. set the screen, run again, run again so you can see it. Everybody stop. Let's go. Hurry up, hurry up. Get to it. Let's go. Same thing, real time. Let's go. Here we go. Pressure the ball, pressure the ball. Go. Now, now that's it. Stop. Everybody stop. This is what I see. What else are you looking at? Well, uh, Jeremiah is there. It don't even matter. None of it matters because the whole the whole purpose of us saying we're trying to do what when we get you off the basketball to get, do what. That's it. Just get to the basket. So if he come over top, I go this way. If he comes that way, I come this way. And whatever decision they make, I got everything in my vision. Worst case scenario, I got to dump off, skip over, shot, air. All right, let's go. 12, 12. Go 12. 1, 2, 2. That's yours. Minute 1, 2, 2. Good job, Julian. Listen to what I'm saying. When the guys are cutting, you are to squeeze them. So when he's cutting, we want you on him. Just like this, almost like we're denying and face guarding. You everybody understand that? We're not helping off on 10 and the other kid. We're not helping off. And five. Watch him out. Watch him out. Set up! Set up the press! We just said press! Set it up! Hold 12, 22. Go back again, go again. You're not identifying nobody. You should be telling him, hey, you got two on your side. I got, the, I got the lowest drop. I got the nearest man. So if it's two people on this side, he has the basketball. So who's your man? I got him here. Th and that's what the first thing you should be saying. All right. If you don't communicate that, he ain't going to know that. That's why you got to communicate it with him. Let's go. So then, then you say, switch. I got now. I got what? Ethan. That's how you communicate. Yes, 12 hold, 12 hold. Let's go. Come here, come here, Brandon. Y'all on defense. 
Come stand, give me three guys standing right here in, in red, standing right here. Yeah, and Clark and that fouling. Yes. When they do this, when you see them come into the paint, the objective is to get into their, in, into their, into their bodies. Just like this, the tallest person is in the middle. You're getting your hand up. Don't try to block his shot. Just contest. Do you understand? Person that's on the ball, we're going to get on the ball, and we're going to make them force them to throw the ball high. You, you got it. All right, listen up, guys. It's important. I need everybody here. Let's get here at 5 o'clock. Let's get here at 5 o'clock. Let's be focused. Let's be focused. Let's be focused. This is an important region game. We got to get this win. All right, because we know we got Sandy Creek next uh, at some point. We got Westminster. That's our next focus after we get through with uh, GAC. But we, we got to get these wins. If we get the wins, we get the number one seed. We get in good, in good shape. Uh, we don't want to be behind the eight ball. We lose this game, we're still chasing, and we don't want to be chasing, all right? Guys, stay focused on what you're supposed to do. And if you take it serious, the opportunity is going to come your way. It's all, we're all building to something. In the end, all of it resets itself. Point blank, it's going to reset itself. It's just going to be where you seated at in the region. So that's all that matters. But these region games are important. If you give this team confidence on your home floor, they're going to feel confident in being you there and in where we're we we playing the region game at. So you gotta you gotta win and you gotta protect your own your own uh, court. That's the first thing. Second thing is take that confidence away. We each day we're trying to get better, and you guys should be focused on getting better, not just playing around, not taking it serious. You think you're hurting me? You're not hurting me. You're only hurting yourself. This is about you guys. What you gonna leave when you leave here? When you say you left Salem High School? One thing that team last year can say is that we, we have done something at Salem High School nobody else has ever done. They can safely say that. Now, your charge is can you say we did something that nobody at Salem High School has ever done, and that's get to the Final Four. Be become region champion. It's what you guys choose to do. It's up to you guys. So all I ask you to do is just be committed. Make sure we're doing what we're supposed to do as it relates to getting online, logging in, checking in with your teachers, making sure we're doing what we're supposed to do with that. That's relates to getting in the gym. Let's try to get some shots up uh, even before we leave and then um, come in uh, ready to play on tomorrow, okay? Do anybody got any questions? Coach, you got anything? All right. Here we go. Break it down. Take us out there. Be on time, guys. Jeremiah Flournoy, class of 2022 from Salem High School, senior. Uh, I can be very versatile for the team. I can shoot, rebound, and fire guard the three through the five. I'm just getting more like more consistent in scoring. And then we're doing good right now, nine and three. I think we're second in the region. We're just trying to be first and win the region champs. Okay. okay. What are some of the things you guys were working on today? Uh, we're just going over the press. We've got a tough game playing GAC. And we're just working on going over our plays and executing. What are some of the keys to success tomorrow? Uh, we just got to get the ball on inside. And then if they help, we shoot. We pass it back out. Uh, Joel Wilson, class of 2022. I go to Salem High School. Uh, I feel like I play on both ends of the court. Uh, I can shoot the ball well, and I'm a great team player. As a smaller point guard, man, what are your mindset out there today, man? What are some of the tricks up your sleeve? Uh, I feel like I can just, you know, get the team in the, in the sets, uh, make sure everybody's in position to do what they're supposed to do and just try to lead the team. The Legends Classic, you guys played in that over at Newton a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Share with us, you know, how, how important it is to kind of have tournaments out this way so that you guys can showcase your skills in your own backyard. Yeah, I feel like um, it was a good experience. Uh, it helped with our chemistry and, and playing together. I think it helped us a lot. I feel like every team needs chemistry to be uh, successful. Like, that's the, that's the main thing when you're playing team basketball. It's a team, so everybody needs to play a part. And then um, today's practice, man, what are some of the things you guys are working on to kind of prepare for tomorrow against GAC? Uh, we're just focusing on what they do and what we need to do to execute. Uh, it's a big game because it's a region game, and they're one of the tougher teams, so we need to focus in because it's an important game. How important is Coach, his role, in, in kind of helping you guys be, 
been also a coach, but also a mentor to you guys? It's very important. Um, he doesn't try to teach us anything wrong. He tries to do everything to help us. So it's important that we take it in and, and try to do what he says. At the end of the day, man, what should we look out for Salem for the rest of the season? Uh, to be champions. I feel like we're getting our chemistry there. Uh, we play hard, and if we keep getting better, we'll be champions. My name is Clark Madison, class of 2024. You know a little bit about your game, bro. What makes you special? I mean, I like to um, get my teammates involved in tag. I like to shoot. I play some defense. The season going good. We got a good record. I think like eight and three. We got a big game coming up tomorrow against GAC. We should win that one. So today's practice, we was working on how we would defend their offense and making sure we, we had our offense set up for their defense. How important is it is for you guys to build chemistry and to come in and work together and develop that camaraderie? It's important we, we work together so we can have teamwork and the point distribution, not, not one person has too many points. And then as a PG, young man, what are some of your mindsets? What do you think of PG? What are some of the roles and responsibilities of a PG? I think some of the roles for a point guard is to get your teammates involved and get them set up on the floor where they need to be. Excellent. You know, you guys played in the um, Legends Classic over at Newton a couple of weeks ago. Share with us how you think you performed and how that kind of helped your team, you know, overall. The Legends Classic helped us because we learned how, that was like mid-season where we learned where we were as a team. So we get better and progress from there. And then coming into tomorrow, I mean, you got a big matchup with GAC. What's the recipe for success, and what are some of the things you're going to do special? The recipe for success is get my teammates involved, play hard defense, make sure we get rebounds, box out. from the start. Remember, we know 5, 10, and uh, uh, what's that? And 14. Four. Yeah, and 14 of the shooters, so we got to know where they are all the time. Make sure we play behind the big and keep them off the block. Uh, anybody got a question about it? More importantly, box out. Make sure we're rebounding. Everybody, all five bodies going to the board rebound. Make sure we're running the floor, getting to your spots. Carl, you're going to start at the one. So, Joel, make sure you get that and get spotted up. Transition, get the ball to the floor, find an open guy. Uh, we'll go over the details of what play we want to run once I get a feel for everything. Uh, defensive, we're going to be pressing up. We're going to go off the hill right from the start. That means get up and pressure the ball. Get in position, read the, read the traps. Let's be smart. Be smart basketball players. All right? Don't be afraid to make a mistake. If you make a mistake, get your butt back. Try to make up for the mistake. All right? I got it. All right, let's, let's see. Coach Chapman, you got anything? Uh, listen, listen to Coach. Play hard. They play hard, man. Y'all gonna play hard back at them. You know, don't, don't be afraid to touch nobody. Yes. Put your hands on somebody. Yes, and execute. Execute. I mean, everybody execute. We run the play, we run the play. Straight to the play. All right, and then let's see what we have. Remember when we calling it, we call three set reverse, we looking for that reverse. We calling for the dive, we looking for the dive. Whatever we're running the play for, that's what it's designed for you to do. All right, everybody got it. So let's execute. All right. All right, let's pray it up. All right. 
Jesus, Father, our Father, Father which art in heaven, I be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us trespasses, and give us trespasses against us. Give us the temptation, and give us the evil, and give us the evil, God's glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Remember, we'll protect your home. All right, this is your opportunity. This is your place. Let's get after it. Let's play with the heart. Let's play with the passion. Let's have fun. All right, let's go. Break it down. Seven more three, five more six. One, two, three, seven. seven. Move by six. Seven.
I'm looking to make the move. Can't make a stack. You got it. You know what I'm saying? They're not, they're not good ball hands, but you don't got to reach. They don't turn the ball over. Yes. Clark, I, I want you to point me in the five. Yes. Yeah. 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 And everybody got to be ready to rotate. You got to understand. You got to rotate. Side, you're here. 
This guy right here, if your man is away from the ball, you reading the slip down. So if you read the slip down, you anticipate the ball to go get the ball. One thing we got to do a better job is going to get those rebounds. Coach, y'all got anything? Yeah, uh, Porter, this is what you got to understand. If, if Coach is five and I'm going five here, the, the help is coming from this way. So I got to cut them off here so we can get the double team here. You I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know the double team was coming. It, That's it, what I'm saying. Just know we, we, we double. We double. But I, no, I, I said Clark for Clark. You got to tell him to step over. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't know it was coming. You got to go fast and push him over. He came. He came and so I, missed, drove, I, had to, I had to help some. Yeah, I know. But I got in front of yours, but he still made it. And then Porter, yeah, my Porter, Porter going to play him straight up. Oh, don't baseline. Be, look, because your first step, if he got the ball, your first step needs to be over to the baseline to take the baseline off. Playing straight up. Because he gave you gave him a line. He beat you back inside the float, all right? Uh, yeah, when we're attacking, they're kind of running the same similar offense that we're running. So when we're attacking, let's get to that third level where we get the ball to the third person and get downhill, all right? But you guys got to make yourselves available. Y'all are just standing. Brandon, the ball rotated around one time, and you were just standing there. And you guys just looked to get him the ball. So, matter of fact, let's pass it to him in the post and cut hard off of him. You get what I'm saying? Because he's playing behind him. So give a good ball fake, give Brandon the ball, and cut your butt hard off him. Get that big step over, dump it to Brandon. Brandon, you got to finish. Do you understand? You can't keep playing down here. And All right? You, you make yourself go out too far. Like, you catching it, and you just moving all the way back. You giving up space. Catch it in the air where you at. Dance space like space that and go to work. You keep popping out down there to the three-point line. Oh, and we run, when we run uh, Fisk again, when Jeremiah, we want you to be on the right side so you can attack his right side. Let's put a shooter here. Let's see what happens. So if, if you attack, uh, let's try to backdoor it first. And let's try to run it all the way through one time. Let's see how they respond to it. Make sure you all don't right. start down now because they, they starting in. Yes, they start. Yeah, okay. But but part of what I was trying to tell you, you got to stay down. Because if you don't stay down, they're going to come up. So matter of fact, we want you on Brandon's side all the time. Well, he had picked the ball up, so I had came around. That's but no, 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 before that, you was too high. Right. Oh, let's put you with Brandon's side. Let's right. put a shooter on your side. Because they have to, because what they might not be doing is they might not be guarding you because they don't figure you're going to shoot the basketball. Mm -hmm. But if you do have to be on that side, just attack the basket. Just attack the basket, make a good decision. When y'all know Porter is attacking and they're stepping over, you got to make yourself available for them. Because you know he'll be trying to shoot the damn, damn ball near <laughs> from the outside of uh, the paint. <laughs> And so, but he got to the foul line. That's a good thing. He's got to take a free throw. All right. So, we'll right, we five for field. Three point, four for six and six. Good three job. Point, four for six and six. Too many turnovers. Ten over. Like ten. Uh -huh. yeah. They were, yeah. yeah. Ten. Five yeah. and ten for them with two ten. And three percent. Three point, <coughs> three for the left. Okay. Uh, free throw over two. Four turnovers. Look, ten got ten. Five got ten points. The more you that point. So, we got to be like two five. How many so. ten got? Uh, yeah, like one three, 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 one three. three. That one three. So I got all that points, really. Rip, if you got one, one and 32 are looking to drive. <coughs> play him to drive. Do everybody understand that? Four shoot the three, so we got to get him off the line. But everybody else, the, uh, number 12 and the 14, they'll shoot the ball. But when y'all got them in the game, they don't want that pressure. Don't bump them or anything. Just turn them. Remember how we worked on turning them? When they start dribbling, jump to that side, they're going to turn. They just get at an angle and turn them again. They're going to turn the ball over. They can't handle the pressure. You got about to understand that. Let's keep it hey, up. Hey, stop, stop pushing when you uh, in the post. They, they miss you twice. You did it twice. You just pushing. Just get position. You going to fall up, man. Step and meet the pads. Two. And Porter. Two. When, when we're guarding them, listen, when you're guarding them, and when he's moving, you just play off of him and then get in the passing lane. Don't face guard him. That's the difference. We're not face guarding because you know what? We always got what? Help. So don't face guard them. Just guard them like hand across the lane. So you don't get caught chasing around. And that's why you're getting deep back door or he's doing certain things. Just keep him in front. And we're just reading what five does. All right, everybody got that? Uh, two minutes and 40. All right, let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go finish the game. Let's go. Let's go.
Oh boy! Yeah, I should be high, bro. Uh, 
Good job, everybody. Good job. Good team effort. Good team effort. Good job. There's things we still got to work on. You got to be able to finish. You got to do what we ask for. And that's what it's talking about being a part of the game, getting involved in the game, being active, being able to finish, working and getting strong with our left hand. All right, making good decisions, crashing. Well, I know we're fatigued, but sometimes I was telling you guys how you got to dig deep. And this, this game, dig deep. That's how you finish. I know you were tired. I was tired. But I'm proud of you guys. We're to fight through. Well, we got to do a better job in supporting each other. Amir, you're doing a good job. I know everybody being involved on the bench. Do everybody understand that everybody being involved in and cheering the teammates because you never know Six what to call. But I'm so proud of you guys. That's a great win. You don't know how big that win is. That puts us in good position. Now we just got to get ready for uh, Westminster. Come in, get our minds right, be focused. I'll get the film, get the game plan. And it's, it's about what you guys do. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yes, and they do a lot of movement, but we okay with that. Cause what goes down comes up. What goes in comes up. All you gotta do is communicate. And when we get to that basket, we gotta be able to finish. And we gotta be able to pass that ball off, and we gotta finish. But other than that, great effort. That was a great job. Great job, Amir. I really appreciate it. everybody giving Amir a round of applause. We don't realize how valuable that those minutes are, you know. And then I'm just being honest. You gotta capitalize on it. All right. Great job, everybody. Clark, you've got to understand when the trap is coming, you got to get rid of that basketball before the trap comes. You're letting the trap come, then you're trying to split it. That's not what we want because we almost had a turnover because you tried to do it twice. Yeah. You've got to be smart. The trap is coming past the basketball. You see that guy coming, I already see him coming. So I always go on over there and get myself, get ready to give a ball fake, yeah. then a bounce pass. That's it. you got to work on that. When that's on us as coaches, we got to do a better job of teaching it. So we'll get better at that, all right? All right, Coach, y'all got anything? Good job. Coach. Yeah, good job. We're taking our basketball. Go ahead and chip away. That's what we're chip away. That's you uh, we got it. We, uh, what, three? What time they get? What time y'all get out of school? They they kind of independent tomorrow, so. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. Good. So let's say uh, let's say 2.30 tomorrow. 2.30 tomorrow. Uh -huh. So we can be off the floor. We can be gone and be done. We'll get what we need to get in, and we'll be out, all right? Because they got a game tomorrow. Okay? Yeah, right now. Huh? I need to feel right by now. I know, but it felt good to get that win at home. All right, give yourself a hand. Good job, Good job. All right. Bro, I just played a whole game. Let's bring it down, guys. Bring it down. I just played a whole game. Let's bring it down. 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 Of what we were trying to do, uh, you know, GAC is a great team. They were without their coach, their head coach. Uh, he was out ill, and uh, one thing I can truly say that that co the coaches, the assistant coaches, did a great job. But our kids did a great job as well as paying attention to the little details, being in the right place at the, at the right time defensively, and being able to finish and making free throws at the end. Those were the keys that got us this, the win tonight. How big of wins like this to kind of build? You know what I mean? That well, That's first, yes, and, and the win at home is important. You know, I always want to win at home. And one of the things that were important, we had we played a great region opponent. Uh, I'm sure we'll probably be seeing them again in the region playoffs and all that. So that's why that win was real important to us. And, and a little bit about some of your key players, how they stepped up. Well, you know, uh, you know, Clark, Maston, uh, Joel, Jeremiah did well around the paint area. And Amir came off the bench and uh, took a, some great charges early in the game that really solidified us. Uh, Julian get, get to the basket. Uh, Porter, his hustle and his defensive effort on number five. Uh, he, was a, he was a great score, and we did a good job trying to contain him a little bit in the second half. Uh, so a lot of those guys did a really good job. So what do you guys got up next, and what do you do to go back to the lab and work on? Uh, well, well, get back in it and get back into the details, understand how to rotate properly on defense, and um, just getting ready for Westminster. Great team, well-coached team, a lot of movement. So we got to get prepared for them. Excellent. Anything else you want to share, Coach? No, just thank you so much for the support. This is a great program, and uh, I just like I'm happy to be a part of it. Iron right, Man, tell us the keys to success tonight. Uh, we just we're making a big step out, and we're just uh, trying to attack the big, get them in foul trouble, and then be ready to shoot with their help. You know, GAC was a tough squad, man. What are some of the things you were out there doing to kind of counteract some of their their defense and things of that nature? Oh, they got a tough player, number five. He can really shoot. And we just focus on we got to help help a lot off of him and make the big score. So after a game like this, what are some of the things you probably go home tonight and sleep on and say, hey, 
some of the things I may have to work on? Uh, I missed like four free throws. So I got to make my free throws and, and work on my shot more. Excellent. Anything else you want to share here, man? No. Uh, shout out to Pop Scott Hoops.